back to our channel and welcome to the Jersey Shore. We are currently on vacation again. <laughs> so this is kind of a spur of the moment week at the beach. So we were kind of struggling with filming, but we think we found a good spot. So hopefully this works out. Um, we wanted to talk to you guys today about our August favorites. Yay, I love these videos. These are Lynn's favorite videos. I also cannot believe that it's the end of August. And they're for the so, end of the summer. Which is yeah, really it's really sad. But we thought we would just share some of our fave products with you guys today. So do you want to start us off? Sure, because I think I have more, right? You always have more. <laughs> oh, I was actually really excited. Actually, I had a hard time this month because last month I had a hard time finding things to talk about, and this time I had too many things to talk about, and I needed to narrow <laughs> it down. So that's always fun. So the first thing I'm going to start with is a little more boring. It's because it's skincare. But this is the Kiehl's Hydro Pumping Retexturizing Serum Concentrate. And it comes in two sizes. This is the smaller size. I think it's like 55 or 58. And there's a bigger size. It's like somewhere in the 80s. Which I feel like is pretty reasonably priced for a serum for like higher end skincare. Yeah. Um, obviously you can find some cheaper. But a lot of the other serums that I've been looking at were way more expensive. So when I found this one, I was really excited to try it. And I really, really love it. It is like a game changer. It, I love that it is super hydrating because as you know I have really dry skin I talk about that all the time but it also plumps skin smooths the appearance of fine lines and texture while significantly reducing the look of dull tired skin that can be aged caused by age related dehydration so it's a lot of promises but I do really feel like that my skin is hydrated and I feel like that it feels really smooth and it does kind of give it a little more of like that firm like plumpiness feeling and it plays well with other products sometimes when you're kind of trying out different skincare it can be hard to find things that work together things can like crumble or like pill on your face which is my absolute pet peeve and this doesn't seem to do that it's also a nice light kind of gel-ish texture so it's really lightweight so I, it doesn't feel like it's really heavy like I'm layering like big like heavy creams underneath my makeup yeah so if you're looking for a good serum and you have dry skin I would definitely go check this out. And they sell it at Sephora now. Oh, that's right. Kiehl's so, now at Sephora, which is exciting. Which is exciting because you can use, get your, earn your points. points. Yeah, my favorite eye cream is from them, so I'm happy. I have a favorite eye cream from them, too. <laughs> so I'm going to talk about a serum as well. I and mean, this is the Glossier Super Pure Serum. Um, I've been having a really hard time with my skin lately. I've been having a lot of breakouts, which is kind of weird for me. So this has been saving my life. Not only does it help with breakouts or acne or blemishes or whatever you want to call them, it also reduces the redness in your skin, which I feel like it actually does because the redness around my nose has gotten so much better since I started using this product. I'm actually almost out. I don't know if you can see that, but I literally have like this much left and I need to buy more. <laughs> but this is one of my favorite serums um, for like bad skin days and my skin is breaking out and it's just not having the best day I put this on and I immediately like see a difference like it really really helps with blemishes and all that kind of stuff so I really like this they have two other ones one that's supposed to plump and then one that's supposed to brighten um, and I really want to try their other serums because I think for the price I think this was only like $28 like you can't beat that it's so yeah. inexpensive and it's a really great product so my next one is the benefit Boing airbrush concealer and I believe this is new and they had a Boing concealer yeah. and they like reformulated it and I bought this after Jeffree Star was talking about it in his favorites video last month I was like well I kind of want to check that out and I also feel like Benefit is fairly affordable-ish like of the Sephora brands I think this was $20 Not and bad. it's like a big like um, it's a pretty big pot like you get a decent amount of product the, my one complaint about it is they only have like three shades I think oh. so this is the lightest one I find that it works for me it's a good color match if I was looking to use it as like a highlighting concealer it's not really light enough for that but just for covering dark circles it's really good this is definitely a medium coverage it's not a full coverage concealer but for me I find that works really well because I think it looks just more natural for everyday looks on me in particular and it's super hydrating like it's not like I I love the NARS soft matte complete concealer mm -hmm. also in like a pot like this but I find that to be a little bit drying again because it's a matte finish so yeah. it's kind of to be expected but because I have drier skin I just find that this looks it does a good job of covering the circles I do have and it still looks hydrated it gives me like that kind of radiant looking finish I'm wearing it today 
and I find that I can use it around my nose if I want to cover extra redness or if I need to cover anything in other places I can use this whereas with the NARS one if I try to put it around my nose it looks it looks really cakey and really dry yeah. so if you have drier skin but you're looking for like a pop concealer I would check this out and I love to use it with my Morphe Y10 brush it's just like and it's two seconds it's like do 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 I love that brush I use Done. that for concealer as well so yeah i I've been really excited about this lately. So we matched up our favorites pretty well because I have a concealer to talk about too. <laughs> so this is the ColourPop No Filter Concealer and I originally just started using this because Lynn had ordered them for us and then they were in Connecticut and then I hadn't seen her in a while. So It I took a while for it to come too because yes, there were obviously like lots of stuff going on. Yes, ColourPop. they had so many stuff, so much stuff coming out and so many orders, but I finally got it. I got light neutral and then I think I have, I have, a, I have a light. So I have two shades, but this shade has been working for me right now because it's a little darker. It's a little light for me right now, um, just because I have such a tan, but the coverage is amazing. It, it gives you like medium to full coverage, but it doesn't get cakey, and all concealer I've ever tried like gets um, creases under my eyes and just looks cakey and dry. This does not do that. I don't know what it is, but it has such a lightweight texture, so I really like it for under my eyes, and it also does a good deal good deal. It also does a good job concealing blemishes and redness. Like I said, my skin's been breaking out a lot, so I've had a few bumps here and there. Um, this did a really good job covering it, so I'm really excited to keep playing around with this and keep using it. The only thing about this is I know I have to be careful, because I'm one of those people that likes to just put concealer all over my face and then go in and blend it, but this does dry down really, really quickly, so I find that I have to put it under my eye, blend it out, and then put it over the other eye and blend it out so which can take a little bit longer sometimes but I don't mind because the product is really good and this is the first concealer in my life that I have found that does not crease under my eyes like that's incredible because concealer just always creases on me it doesn't matter what I do it just always creases so, so my next product is a highlighter because it wouldn't be a favorites video without a highlighter <laughs> without a highlighter with her so this is the cover fx custom enhancer drops and this is in the shade someone Moonlight. just lost a boogie board i know i see it, it. just went flying across the street <laughs> we're actually stuck inside because tropical storm irma is like moving up the coast so oh, it's, it's tropical storm i didn't even know that yeah you know it gets it gets real when it has a name yeah there was some guy surfing before oh i missed him i was working i was like watching him and then i would lose sight of him and i was like <gasps> panicking and then I go oh, there he is so I don't, know, I, don't know, I don't know what's going on but anyway the this is the cover effects custom enhancer drops in the shade moonlight and I feel like these are these are all over like social mm -hmm. media YouTube Instagram people love these people love these and after the longest time I was like mm, I don't know that looks like a lot of work <laughs> I, I, I don't know if I have time for that and they're on the pricier side I think these are 42 and it's not like a huge bottle but we actually ended up, <laughs> bless you, we, we ended up like giving in, we bought it for a video, we yeah, tried we it out in a video. Video. I don't know if that's gone up yet, but if it hasn't yet, it will. We did a lot of like pre-filming, so oh. summer, so <laughs> sorry. Just wait. <laughs> sorry. But after I tried it out in the video, I was like, oh my god, this stuff is amazing. So I brought it with me when I was traveling, and I use it obsessively even on days when I'm like oh I'm not gonna do full makeup today I'm like oh but I need to put some of this on I have a little bit of it on today it is just it's so pretty it blends out so beautifully I have fair skin so sometimes while I do prefer a powder highlighter sometimes I get like the line mm -hmm. and I feel like with this product it's so easy to blend it so you don't get that like you know like yeah it's and I do feel like it's also really buildable. So, like, today I only did, like, one drop on each side because I'm, like, oh, I'm not going, like... We're not leaving the house. No, so. I'm, like, sitting here in a sweatshirt. <laughs> I can't wait to, like, order Chinese for dinner and, like, oh, yeah, just be so lazy. Funny. So I just did one drop. But, if I, but like, when we were, we were on Vegas a couple weeks ago, like, you know, that was, like, two or three. And you're, like... <laughs> or and four. Then, or five. And I then I find that there was a couple there. I was, like, oh, too much. So I would just take my damp beauty blender and kind of, like, blend it out with that. And that would help kind of kind of take yeah. off some of the excess so I find that's an easy product to work with easier than I thought that it would be because you can really control how much you use and then even if you use too much and you're like oh no um the damp beauty wonder really helps yeah. out so I really love this I'm excited to try some of the other mm -hmm. shades this one so I have another skincare product I've been on a real skincare kick so my favorites are kind of boring this month and this is the herbivore, herbivore botanicals lapis I think that's how you say it balancing facial oil 
this is what it looks like. It's like this pretty blue color. This is for it's um for blemish prone skin, troubled skin. Again, I've been having problems, so I like using this product. I can, I use it as a spot treatment, or I use it all over my face depending on the degree of how bad my skin is. Um, but it sinks into the skin really nicely. I never thought that I was someone who could use oils on their skin because I'm combination, so I'm dry in some places, oily in others. Um, and I just thought that oils were just going to make that worse and make my skin oily and just gross. But this changed my mind about oils. I love this product. It absorbs into the skin so nicely. It doesn't leave a weird film. The smell is very natural, so that's something I had to get used to. I don't use a ton of natural products in my skincare, although I'm trying to incorporate more because I love this so much. Um, so that was kind of interesting. Just <laughs> I, I can't even place it. It's like... It's very earthy. Yeah. But once it absorbs into your skin, like, you don't smell it after that. It's just that initial, like, when you first apply it, you're like, I oh. It. Yeah, I mean, it's not horrible. Don't get me wrong. Like, I, it's something I got over very quickly. But, so I've been loving this. I want to try more products from them. From them. Um, I did try the night treatment that they have. We did a whole blog post on that. I really liked that. And the hydrating spray I really like as well. So I'm excited to try more from them because all the products I've tried have been really really, really great. Yeah, they don't have a ton of stuff but I feel like mm -hmm. the stuff they do have they did like really, really good, well. Yeah. So my next product is the Glossier Boy Brow and I have it in the shade brown. I don't remember how many shades this came in. I think it's clear blonde brown and there might be like an even darker, like a darker one. one. But it looks like this. It's like this super tiny little skinny wand and I'm obsessed with this. So I have such a mostly just hate relationship with my brows <laughs> because I was a child of the 90s and in the late 90s the trend was skinny eyebrows so everyone would pluck their eyebrows off because yeah. that's just like what you did. God I missed that trend. And and I had really thick ones I was really self-conscious about it too so I think that made it even worse for me. So now of course I'm like constantly looking for things to help me kind of fill them back in and make them look fuller and I used to swear by the benefit product that was just, I, I can never remember what it's called because they all have like kind of like funky names. The, um, brow, brow, it's not the brow zing, it's the, I don't know, I can't remember. But they changed the packaging mm. a few years ago and now the, the cap like isn't like a solid thing, it's got like, I don't know, and however it sits in my hands, this is total user error, but like I just <laughs> cannot get as good of an application because of the way I hold it. It's just, it's totally me, I'm just a spaz. But I was really excited to try this because this looks like the old benefit packaging. Yeah. And I honestly think this product may be even better. It the little wand is so tiny, so for people with like skinny little brows, it's so easy to like really get in there and fill them in. I feel like it really clings to like every little hair that's there. So it helps fill in any sparse areas and even helps me like kind of reshape them a little bit. So for most days, I'll just go in right with this. It's so quick and easy to put on. If I'm going for a more like full glam, I'll fill them in with a pencil and then I'll yeah. go back in with this and then it kind of doubles as like a setting kind of like gel. So I really like that kind of, kind of does both for me and it does stay in place really well and I just really like it. I've been loving glossy products. I have this whole wish list on their site right now. It's bad, but you know, it's fine. And they're, because their stuff's like not, it's not that expensive either. Um, we also have a link in our description box for 10% off. Feel free to use it. We get like $5 in like money to spend at Glossier. If you want to use it, use it. If you don't, no worries. Cool. So my next product is a hair product. And this is a, the Brio Geo, I think that's how you say it, Rosarco Milk Reparative Leave-In Conditioning Spray. I actually got this in a Sephora Play Box and I started using it and this stuff is freaking incredible. Like, I spray it in my hair, and obviously I have color treated hair, um, oh god, <laughs> and it makes my hair feel so soft, so I like to spray it in after I shower, and then I'll just use like a comb and just like comb it through my hair, and it takes all the frizz out of my hair, and it just leaves my hair feeling so soft, which is really hard to do because <laughs> obviously I bleached the end of my hair to oblivion, so my hair doesn't really get soft anymore, but this actually does make it soft. 
So I want to buy this in the full size. It's already in my Sephora car. I'm just waiting to have the guts to actually press order. It's amazing. <laughs> uh, just for some new good rewards or something. Seriously, like, I'm waiting for push something you over good. The edge. To, yes, exactly. Or like a new freebie. Yeah, like that's good promo codes where you get like the like deluxe samples. I like those. Yeah, and it's only twenty dollars. So really, that's, oh, not that's not bad at all. Um, I think this brand has some really good products. I actually just bought another product of theirs that I've been testing out and I really really like that too. I've been so. really impressed with their stuff. Like um if you follow our blog when I did the blog post about my flaky scalp, I like cannot live without their like charcoal scalp treatment. Oh yeah. And they have like an oil too, like a charcoal oil treatment for your scalp that I'm like obsessed with trying. I've tried their mask their hair oh, mask. Oh, yeah. That's also really good. That I got that a sample of that in one of my subscription boxes. I can't remember which one. But everything I've tried from them I've been really impressed really with so far. Hair. So it makes me really excited to try more products. I also like it too because I have a lot of hair but it's pretty thin and it has like a weird texture to it. So sometimes products can weigh my hair down or make it look greasy or just gross. But this doesn't do that so I really like that about it. So I'm excited. I want the full size. I'm like so close to buying it. <laughs> It's bad. So on the hair trends, this is so random, <laughs> but it's like, this is life. If you have thick hair, this could be life changing for you. So this is the Invisibottle, the traceless hair ring. And I was like really hesitant to buy this because try one. it reminded me of when I used to go to cheerleading camp and we used to, they would give us those like things to put our keys on and everyone would like we would like wrap it up in our uh, hair do you know what i'm talking about yeah you would like put it in your hair but then it would like get tangled in your hair and i just thought it was like literally that same thing so i was like why why yeah, but why? i just couldn't take it anymore do you know how many hair ties i break like all day like, every day like my husband's just like what like he'll, like they'll the whole find them in the bathroom like fallen soldiers because i just like can't like she also needs, like, four hair ties to keep her hair up anyway, oh, so... Oh, so if I want to put my hair in a bun, like, I have to put it in a ponytail. That's one. Then I, like, wrap it around, secure it, and a lot of times I need another one, and then sometimes I even need bobby pins. It's out of control. So, oh. I was like, alright, I'm gonna try this. I have one in my hair right now. And they do stretch out, so the one that I've... I've only been using one of them. You get three in a package, and it's $8. I picked them up at Sephora. These are going in my Sephora loves list. I, like, just, I, want to buy. I happened to, like... I was, like, walking by, like, the checkout, and I, like, saw it, and I was like... Yeah, Alright, what the hell? Like, just throw it in my basket. Yeah, like, doesn't yeah. so because it's, like... Close up. Because it's, like... I don't even know, like, this ring. It just, like, holds your hair in, but yeah. it's not tight. No, yeah. So it doesn't like, give you a headache because I also get headaches when I put my hair on top of my head because I have so much like, hair. It's not moving. Okay, no. well that time it moves. I mean, a it'll bit. move eventually, but it'll it like stays in. Oh, and man, if you go swimming or if you get your hair wet, it doesn't get all like wet and funky. You know how hair hair ties like when they get wet, yeah. they like cut. Sometimes they smell. Does that ever happen to anybody else? Is that just me? Like they no, smell. Yeah. Funny. I start like, throwing mine away. You start throwing away because they get really gross. So these like don't do that because they're plastic. And they come in a bunch of different colors. So if you want to go like bright, like they have pink and teal, or they have clear, or they have like a darker shade than this. They have like a blonde shade. And a blonde too. shade, yeah. So I went with the brown because I think it does like blend in. Like you can't. Yeah, no, it like, does. You can't really see it. Especially because your hair is highlighted, so you wouldn't want to go any darker than that. No, it's just kind of. I don't know. I like it. I'm obsessed. That's like I swear to God, it's life changing. And and it doesn't leave a bump. Oh. oh. I really need these in my life because my hair always bumps. No matter what I do, it just bumps. It just does it. I haven't really heard anyone talk about these other than the Sweetest Thing blog. She talks about them. Uh, okay. She's the only person I've heard mention them. She's actually the one that kind of made me go like, well, all right, throw it in my car. And I love it. But I haven't really heard anyone on YouTube or anyone else talk about it. And I, these are life-changing. Like, if you have yeah, thick really hair like or if you have fine hair and you have a problem with, like, hair ties slipping out or stretching mm -hmm. out or breaking or anything like that, like... Go ahead and invest in these because yes, they're eight dollars for three. They're definitely more expensive than like the goody like you know yeah, you black get, hair ties you get at Target for two ninety nine. But the number of hair ties that I was going through that were either getting so stretched out that they just didn't hold my hair anymore, or the ones that were breaking, it's like like it's yeah. worth it. Like, my last favorite of the month is a ColourPop lippy, and this is the Ultra Blooded Lip in Zuma. Uh, Zuma. Oh, the Paw Patrol. Zuma. Um, I bought this when they first came out, along with some of the other blotted lips. Um, and I like just put it in my ColourPop drawer and just like, kind of forgotten about it. 
And then I pulled it out a few weeks ago and I was like, alright, l- let me try this. And I put it on my lips and I was like, oh my god, this is incredible. I have really been stra- like straying away from the matte liquid lip just because I feel like, especially for summer, it's so heavy and like sometimes I just wanted something light. Um, and this is perfect because it's light color, like it's it's light on your lips, but it still gives you like intense color. It's more, it's like kind of a cross between like a matte lit lip and um, like a stain. Teen. So, and this color is perfect. It's like my lips, but better. Like it's the perfect color for me. I just, I love this product. When you swatch on your hand, it looks so just like bleh. But then when you put it on your lips, it's like so pretty. I don't know what it is. I don't know if you can really see that. But I love these, and I want to try more of the ultra blotted lip. I don't love the blotted lips and the little twist ups mm. as much. I don't think they give as much color payoff as these do, um, at least this one. Um, but I definitely want to try. There's like a bright red that I want to try in this. I have like a berry shade that I haven't really played around with too much, but maybe going into fall. Yeah, that'll be good for fall. I see like. Game. Especially, too, when it starts to fade, like, it's not so obvious like a liquid lipstick mm. is. But it still gives you, for the first, like, few hours of wear, it still gives you that, like, intense color that looks almost like you're wearing a liquid lip, but it doesn't feel like it. It's very, like, soft and, I don't know. I just love it. I'm obsessed with it. I literally wear it every day. So my last product is the Smashback Step-by-Step Contour Stick, and this is in the shade... Oh, wait, do they have that? Bronze? Yes. I don't know. We can check. Okay, sorry. So... I saw Jaclyn Hill use this in her video, so I was like, I'll hail Jaclyn Hill. I need to try it. But she, the, but the main thing was, like, I'm terrible at contour. She made it look so easy. Literally just, like, take, she just, like, takes it and, like, goes, like, whoop, whoop, doo, doo. And then she takes, like, a little, like, stippling, like, brush. This this is a MAC that from, like, one of those old, like, holiday uh, collections. Elf makes one, too, that's super affordable. So, just FYI, if you're... In the market, everyone person. has yes. a stippling brush. You need a stippling brush. The Elf one's like two dollars. I actually have it. It looks almost exactly like this. But then you just like you kind of blend it out, easy. So I was like, I think I could do that. So um, I bought it. So one thing to note is at Sephora they only sell this in a trio. So you get this shade, which is the bronze, a contour shade, which is a little darker, and then a highlight one. So I think it runs for forty two dollars. I knew I probably wasn't going to use the highlight and I probably wasn't going to use the contour one because it would probably be a little too dark, a little too warm for me. Mm-hmm. So I actually found they sell them individually at Nordstrom. I got mine at Macy's. Oh. So I think other department stores. And they're individually, they're 23 So if you think you're going to use more than one, I would buy the trio. Yeah. If you think you're only going to use one, then you might as well just buy the one. It's weird because at Sephora they sell the highlighter separately, but they don't sell the contour and the bronzer. So Sephora needs to get on that. I don't know what they're waiting for. Yeah, but. I don't know why they don't sell it individually because this is an amazing product. And I don't know why I haven't seen like more people use this either because if like, I mean obviously Jock and Hell is like really good at contour. Yeah. So I mean she could use whatever she wants and like look amazing. But I really think that if you are not that confident with your contouring skills and you want to get into the cream contour especially, I think this would be such a great product to start with because it is so easy. I mean, it's foolproof. Like, you draw the line, you blend it out, yeah. and it looks beautiful. And I'm pretty fair, and I felt like this was an okay shade for me. I, In the winter, probably, would I want it maybe like a touch ashier? Maybe. So Smashbox. That's yeah, another tip. Colors. Maybe do this as an individual stick in like a whole range of like contour shades they should do them in sticks you know how they just came out with that foundation contour gel? Yeah, yeah yeah they should do all the contour shades in like these sticks. in this but like is this like pencil stick because it's really just should. so easy to use oh and it comes with a sharpener oh that's nice because that's yeah. kind of like a weird size yes it comes with a sharpener don't forget that it comes with a sharpener I did, and I threw it in the garbage and then I was writing a blog post about this and I had to which will be on Saturday check on Saturday and I talk about this in my blog post I was <laughs> writing the blog post and I was like oh wait this comes with a sharpener where's my sharpener and I was like crap I just it was still in the box so I had to like dig through the trash there was like banana peels and stuff it was gross but I found it it's commitment right there so those are our August favorites yay I feel like they weren't that exciting this year this month but it's okay. I had some makeup that's true mine weren't excited last now. month was less exciting for me it was yeah. way more skincare but leave us a comment below and let us know what some of your favorite products were this month because you know I love to try everyone's <laughs> favorites we do we really do it's, <laughs> it's my favorite 
So, no pun intended. <laughs> Don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our videos on Mondays and Wednesdays. And give this video a big thumbs up so we know that you liked it. And thank you for joining us today and we will see you in our next video. Bye, Bye. guys.